Hey, welcome back, San Juan La Union vlog. I am waiting for my son for his lunch break. I am here at, let's see if you can, add, Eden. Healthy vegetarian. But they have vegan options too. And so, anyway, this is a really nice area. And while I wait for him, I was gonna vlog where he works. I thought I'd just do a quick vlog on. Here's a sneak peek of the next vlog. Uh, of this whole area. I'm in uh, what's called Dana Point. It's on the edge of like Dana Point, Salt Creek. It's on the, it's right off of the, well, PCH. But anyway, this is an upscale neighborhood. As you can see, there's many condos up there. And today, get this, it's 80 degrees. We have what's called Santa Ana winds. And uh, I'm enjoying shorts. And we got a Starbucks coffee. My son made me a great Vietnamese coffee. It's sitting in there. And I'm gonna go back to it in a bit. But uh, this is a very nice neighborhood. This is kind of typical Orange County looking stuff here. We're in Orange County, OC represent. <laughs> and I believe this, let's see, Gelson's over there is, uh, used to be a Vaughn's, which I used to stop at and get a water or whatever. And then I would ride my bike from Huntington Beach all the way to Salt Creek to surf. And uh, especially when I was big. Give you a little view. And then I thought I'd do a little walk and talk, just kind of show you what Orange County looks like. The beach is that way. And I would say there's a Chase Bank going there, JP Moore Wealth Management. Um, the beach is maybe just a short quarter of a mile walk from this place here. Uh, I'll just walk through show you a typical um we call these like uh like a strip mall but this is a really fancy one and uh some of the things that they have here in orange county it's like i said this area is like on the on the border between say you know salt creek area and dana point i think it's officially this is dana point still but dana point and then Next city over is going to be Corona Del Mar in Newport. It is so nice. I mean, here, I'm going to show you in the mirror here. I am wearing shorts and uh, just a black t-shirt. And I got my hair cut today. Uh, I mean, not everything has come back. There is an available space here for rent. <clears throat> I got my haircut today at my favorite barber shop in or in uh, Oceanside, and uh, it's called All American Barber. It's on Mission, right by the Dollar Tree. Like the closest cross streets would be Mission and I don't know Mission and uh, Mesa Drive, something like that. El Camino Real and Mission Drive. Maybe just a little bit ill into that. And they do the best haircut. Um, I just got my haircut. Check it out. And thank you, Eric. Eric, I, I really like it. It's a great job. Haircuts there are 20 bucks. And make sure to a tip appropriately. Here's Monarch Bay. It's, a, I guess, a real estate agent. But they're selling units here. But anyway, did that, had to look good. Perspire Sauna Studio. Wow, that looks nice. We got another available. So maybe the economy is bouncing back, but I've seen three available spaces. Fashion eyewear. <laughs> Shredding services. Oh, UPS store. That's where I went ahead and um, Turned in all my stuff to get apostled and got a return UPS envelope. Look at these pretty flowers, got a mailbox. See, for those of you in the Philippines, this is an American mailbox. 
You can put your mail in there and then it'll get to where it's going. But you gotta make sure you got postage on it already. Uh, what is this Japanese restaurant? Check it out. <laughs> hey there. It's really nice. Looks very Japanese. Let's see if they have a menu. Oh, don't see any menu. I know people want to see menus. Oh, here. Here's some prices for you. So, say you want chicken fried rice, 11 bucks. Beef fried rice, 13. Shrimp fried rice, $14. $14 would roughly be, mm, well, 500 is 10 bucks. So it'd be like seven, 700 pesos for shrimp fried rice. And then they have rolls. All right, Sal, so, so here you go. So like, just say I just wanted a roll, a sushi roll like the ones you make. Um, a normal one is a rainbow roll. And you make those for me. Uh, $14, 700 pesos for one roll. I know it may sound kind of expensive, but this is Orange County. And I'm sure it's really good. Look at this dog. I got some music, so I'm not gonna get close to it. Maybe I can run by the speaker. <laughs> Cute dog. <laughs> we got a dentist. Oh look, you can see the ocean. Check it out, that's how close I am to the ocean. This is just going to be a point and shoot, one hit wonder vlog. I want to get this going and then maybe tomorrow I'll get the vlog up with uh, a vegan restaurant where my son works. Stella's restaurant, for those of you who are interested in Stella's. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I hope this comes out good on camera. Just, you can see the swells coming in. Look at the boat. Oh, and it just smells. You can smell the ocean. That's the Pacific right there, baby. Boy, my son works in such a nice area. These parking lots are huge. Not too many cars in there, though. So we'll walk over to this Gelson's. Um, that's supposed to be like a Trader Joe's, my son said. And um, the Trader Joe's is usually kind of an upscale place to buy your food. They got a lot of healthy options. So it's kind of like an upscale Trader Joe's. I'm gonna go with that. You can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. There you go, look at that. There's all the stores that I just passed. I've been doing a vlog every day. If you guys like that, let me know. Um, I am retired and don't have too much to do. I can do a vlog every day. Especially if it's just kind of a point and shoot like this, walk around. I mean, for those of you who live in California, these are probably very boring. But maybe somebody who like, you know, lives in, uh, I don't know, people got masks. That's the first time I've seen anybody with a mask. I wonder if I can come in here. Good health starts with clean hands. So they got a little thing here. Hi. Huh? Don't need a mask to come in. I see somebody else shopping without a mask. This is the first time I've ever been in a Gelson's. So, anyway, I thought I'd check it out since I'm here said I'm waiting for my son look at all this I know Cell would be interested in this so look see this is what Americans are used to when you go to the market look how green that broccoli is you know and it's refrigerated it's all neatly stacked <laughs> probably amazing like San Juan market is not like this I mean look at this spinach this is spinach okay so fresh uh, for this right here $2.99 $2.99 for this little bunch which would be uh, about three bucks 150 pesos for one little bunch broccoli green onions so a 
a bunch of green onions this big. $1.99. You could tell when I went in my previous video, I went to an Asian market. It was 79 cents, so like less than half price. But this is a really upscale market. I'm just gonna walk through here and show you the produce. We got cucumber. Imagine one cucumber, okay? And Sal will probably fall over in her chair. One cucumber, four dollars. So this one cucumber is 200 pesos. They're a different kind of cucumber. It's a hothouse cucumber. They have a real thin skin on them. Uh, got some zucchinis, Brussels sprouts. Look at all these. And then these are the uh, avocados here. They're Haas avocados, $3.99 each. So for one avocado, uh, one like this, it's gonna be uh, 200 pesos, one avocado. These are an oil-based avocado. The ones in the uh, in the Philippines are water-based one, and they're good. They're probably healthier for you, but um, different, different base. These uh, Philippines ones are water-based. These are oil-based. These are really great for guacamole. So this is Gelson's. Look at all the apples, different kinds, varieties. Get some pears. Here's your onions. Look how big these onions are. You don't really ever see big, huge onions like that in the Philippines. Here's your yellow, your red onion. You got potatoes, oranges. I think you get it. This is my favorite hot sauce, which I'm gonna buy some bottles. <coughs> Not here. <coughs> Excuse me. Cholula. I'm gonna buy a bottle of this, bring it back in my Bollock buying box, wrap it in some bubble wrap. All your sauces. So anyway, this is kind of what a market looks like here in Orange County. Very nice. It's, uh, like I said, upscale. gonna walk through here here's all the check stands you notice how there's no lines so like this is a check stand in the US um, this one's closed just bring your card up here and then they put your food through it and uh, a lot of things have UPC symbols on them they scan them send them right through uh, they have to weigh the fruit and produce things like that right. vlogger <laughs> They're looking at me like, why are you holding that? So here it is right here. And you can kind of see no lines. And if there is a line, they'll open another check stand. Not like CSI. I wanted you to compare to CSI or a supermarket. Probably this is like equal to a Rustin's in the Philippines. Look at all these cheeses. That's one thing I do miss here. Like I've got some really good cheese uh, when I was in Portland and I would have it with my wine they got neatly made things you wouldn't believe it but just this little package $56 that's like uh, geez I don't know a lot 20 cheese what would that be I don't know you guys can convert I don't know what that is in pesos but $56 about less than half Half of $100 for this amount of cheese. I don't know. Sal and I could live on $56, both of us, meal-wise, for a whole week if we shopped at the market. <laughs> That's just one little cheese platter. They got a full-on uh, deli, deli here. You can order uh, potato salad. Look at that different kinds crunchy kale salad Tuscan kale Tuscan kale salad they re look really beautiful caramelized pumpkin tri trifle wow. 
Waldorf salad. God, I'm getting hungry looking at all this. Chocolate bread pudding, $10 a pound. Boy, it looks outstanding. You got barbecue chicken grilled breast, $13.99 a pound. Look at that. <clears throat> what I like is that salmon. Look at that salmon with the glaze on it. Mm. Okay, and then I'll Sticky tell you. ginger okay. salmon, $5.99 each. So for one of those pieces okay, of perfect. salmon would be $16. Roughly, uh, let's see, 800 pesos for one of those pieces of salmon that's cooked with that sauce on it. Shrimp and cucumber salad, $19.99 a pound. I don't know what that is a kilo. You guys can figure it out. All right, I'm gonna walk outside. I think I'm probably up to about 20 minutes. It's just a kind of a day in the life of Mark. You know, here, Dana Point, Orange County, spending time with my son. And uh, there you go. Automatic doors that open and close. Um, there's some more stores over there I didn't get to. I'll just, Montessori is like a preschool daycare place. CVS is pharmacy. That's like equal to your mercury drug in the Philippines. Got some animal supplies. A tailor shop, nails. Get your nails done at a Starbucks. And I'm gonna make it back over to that corner. If you like these kind of things, let me know. I'll try to shoot one. Maybe not every day, every other day. And uh let me know what kind of things you want to see here in the United States, in California, while I'm here, and I'll try and, uh, try and record it. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go enjoy lunch with my son. I'll be back soon with another vlog.